So I've been on TikTok lately attempting to find a young girl that hasn't been ran through, but that's a whole different story. And, and I came across these imperfect foods ads. And to me, it was so hilarious how they hired this like depressed, sad girl as if she was like humbly welcoming the garbage food being sent to her. But <laughs> I'll let you guys be the judge of that. It's Tuesday, my imperfect foods delivery day. Why shop Imperfect Foods? 218 billion in food is thrown away every year. 40% of food goes uneaten it's in the like US. It's like she's trying to sound happy, but her voice is just so miserable. Go unharvested or unsold each year. 21% of fresh water supply is used to produce It's like the music food. you should play when you're feeding starving Alice, African Imperfect children. Imperfect Foods combat this food waste. They sell foods with cosmetic imperfections, with packaging change, undervalued, and in surplus inventory. Check out imperfectfoods.com to learn more. So you can get snacking on reducing food waste and yummy produce like this pear. To me, this is hilarious. This is like the pinnacle of virtue signaling. Not only can you be miserable in your apartment, you can barely afford the rent on shitting your brains out on a vegan diet, but now we can send you <laughs> the food that was in the dumpster behind the supermarket. Okay, I know what they said. I know it's like, oh, foods that had imperfections, were overproduced, weren't good for the show, but this is, this is ridiculous. And by putting like a vegan and like climate spin on it it's oh it's so good it's oh it's this is comical man what was it, it was blue apron purple carrot now it's imperfect foods it's like one umbrella company just trying to come up with a new nonsense that people will eat down but what really got me was how they had to actually hire people that didn't sound depressed. I no longer have to go to the grocery store because I get my groceries delivered from Imperfect Foods. So this girl foods. isn't if as depressed. If you're not familiar with them, Imperfect Foods is helping to prevent food waste and so far their customers have saved 139 million pounds of food. They're affordable and convenient, making sustainability more accessible. But what I love most is that they meet a lot of different Of course, we got the vegan needs. nonsense. I eat a plant-based diet and they have <laughs> all of my favorites. Young lady, I wonder why they have all of your favorites. Is it because no one wants to eat this vegan garbage in the grocery store? So they're sending this stuff? I bet you that's what it is. I bet you Imperfect Foods is a front for big broccoli to send their vegan garbage. Dude, cheddar flavored mac and cheese. That's like having a vegan hot dog. Like, what the f are you doing? All right, what's up next? I just got my Imperfect Foods delivery box. I love the mission of the company to help minimize food waste. I have a lot of produce, but some of the stuff that I was really excited to try <laughs> this are is a like, lot of their non Their marketing team had a stroke options. because they weren't doing and so well. Mac and cheese. <laughs> and just hired really this random Asian actress. My favorite type of ketchup. They also deliver things like refrigerated items. That looks real sustainable. Coconut culture yogurt. Four pounds of aluminum foil. Creamery pepper jack cheese. Forager cashew milk yogurt. All the vegan crap they couldn't sell again ginger oak cookies. yeah i don't know what the deal is i guess having a girl that sounded suicidal and depressed trying to market your garbage produce wasn't the best idea holy now this guy i, I don't know what is he trying to look like a disney superhero with that hair i don't know what they were going for because th this is like the last actor i would assume they would hire he's a little too upbeat like he's trying to sell you a car How's it going guys? If you are not familiar with Imperfect Foods, they are a weekly grocery <laughs> delivery service it has, that is it has the cuts to a in it just like a regular vegan video food system. And produce that would normally be thrown out by your local grocery store. It's like the first time he's reading the script. Delivered directly to the customer. So if you know there's items in your weekly diet that you want to continue to get, you just put that on a list and it continues to send it to you every week. <laughs> Highly recommend Imperfect Foods. I'm going to continue with this. <laughs> I'm gonna continue with this. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue with this. This is the funniest shit I've ever heard in my life. How can you put <laughs> Oh, we're selling you foods that would normally be thrown away? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is hilarious. Holy shit. How the fuck did they put that in the script? <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Hold on, did they really say that? ...service that is committed to a less wasteful food system. And produce that would normally be thrown out by... <laughs> produce that would normally be thrown out. Who thought that was a good idea? Holy shit, I can't. 
I fucking can't. So this last one is actually a bonus. That This is the last Imperfect Foods ad, but I came across another one that was just too funny to not put in. Now, I thought this was satire when I saw it. Alpha Foods, the maker of plant-based burritos, chicken nuggets, burgers, pizza, tamales, Popeyes, and more, have been turning meat eaters into vegans without their prior written consent and must be stopped. But you need to act now. <laughs> <laughs> holy shit uh, are these just money laundering schemes seriously seriously are, are these legitimate are, are, honestly is like is globo homo just printing fucking money for these companies to waste it to just try to turn one boy into like a soy boy femboy so they can get their oh my god i can't i can't i've had enough today so hopefully you guys have laughed at these as much as I have. Uh, but if you could please check out frank-defano.com to support me through all of my businesses so none of us ever have to even think about eating this absolute garbage. If you guys could please drop a like on the video as well, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again, guys, and I will see you for tomorrow.